it's Julie from Downpour Designs. Uh, you guys asked me for a creation video on my fire coasters. So here it is. Um, right here I'm starting with a 4 inch ceramic tile and I am adding some tricorn black from Sherman Williams. It's a really thick paint um, so I spin off a whole bunch of it before I start putting other colors on my tile. Um, I'm putting, I'm using a plastic teaspoon and I'm just putting about five scoops on there. Seems like a lot, but my bucket was pretty low, so it's <laughs> really not a lot. So now I'm going to put that down on my spinner and then I'm going to spin it out until it covers the whole tile and you want to make sure it goes all the way off the sides. You see me touching up a side there where it just missed a tiny little bit. Now I am grabbing, these are leftover paints that I had made for some bloom pours. Um, so what I am grabbing first is going to be the Deco Art. Oh yeah, I'm sorry, I'm torching there. There was a couple of big bubbles. Normally I don't torch the house paint. This is the Deco Art 24 hour or 24 karat gold. And it's mixed really thick. Um, again, these paints were kind of sitting for a couple of days because I had mixed them up for something else and so I'm just kind of using them up. So I'm putting a really thin line of that 24 karat gold first down at the bottom of my tile. Then I am adding some Liquitex Basics Cadmium Orange Hue to that. Again, it's super thick because I was using it in some previous bloom and other paintings so I did actually thin one that one out earlier with some Chosana pouring medium or gloss varnish I'm sorry then I'm just adding a little tiny streamers up above it just to kind of help with that fire effect next is going to be Amsterdam standard series acrylics in carmine that's the red and I'm gonna add quite a bit of that Pretty thick right on top of my orange and again putting some little streamers in there just to help with the fire effect on top of that now is going to be my black cell activator this is Amsterdam Oxide Black mixed with Australian Floetrol. And then I got my mini blow dryer, um, the flat faced blow dryer. You can find these on Amazon. They're, they're kind of everywhere. I just got mine in the mail today, so <laughs> I thought I'd try it out. And you can see I'm holding it upside down and blowing away from me to kind of help that cell activator mix with the colors. I'm kind of pushing it in the direction I want it to go. And then I'm going to turn it around and bring it towards me. Just helping spread that cell activator, get some cells popping up. So it looks nothing like fire yet, but it will. So now I'm going to get my skewer, probably my metal straw, and just um, kind of move things around and make it look more like fire. I'm going to spin it out a little bit first because that paint is super thick. So I'm trying to just kind of thin it out before I make my final touches on it. So I'm going to blow out some of that cell activator that didn't really do anything to begin with. It should allow some cells to pop up. You don't want to blow really hard because if you blow through the cell activator to your base coat, it won't do anything. You won't get any cells. So you just want to blow real gently until you start seeing some color come through. I'm going to spin it again. 
Still trying to get some of that paint off of there, get those cells to open up a little bit. Again, just taking my straw, blowing some areas that just don't quite want to pop through yet. There they start kind of coming up. You can see them. Okay, then I'm going to add a little bit of orange in here because I didn't think there was enough. It was looking just really red. Um, so I'm just going to kind of throw some orange in. And then I will move that around. That line there was kind of, kind of funky, but we made it work. <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to take my skewer now and start making some lines and some stuff that looks like flames. Moving that orange into the red. I've got some gold in there I'm going to move around. This is where it's all going to start coming together, looking a little bit more like flames rather than blobs. So you can see there's a lot of red at the top and I don't want all that red at the top because the goal is to have some black space and actually make those red tendrils go right off the edge of the tile. So you're going to see me blow a whole bunch of paint right off the end to create those tendrils. I'm just going to keep looking at it, figuring out where I want to move my paint. That orange is a little concentrated, so I'm just going to blow it out a little bit. And then take my skewer and refine it a little bit more. That's the one thing I love about this form of painting is that every single piece is different. So the other four that you saw me post look different than this one. The first one that I did was kind of a mess. I didn't post that one. <laughs> it's all a learning process. Now you'll see what I thought was pretty much the end result. Sorry about the glare from my lighting. I did post a picture so you can see the end result. And I always look at it again, even though I think I might be done. I always look at it again. I'll spin it around, just kind of eh, maybe one more spin on the spinner. Give it a little bit more of that fire tendril look. And here's the end results. Thank you guys for watching. Come visit me at Downpour Designs on Facebook and Instagram.